Okay, hey guys, this is Sea Witch Piper again. Uh, this is another uh, tutorial video. Um, in this ba in this tutorial, hopefully I'll give you some hints and tips on how to use a uh, phalanx um, effectively. The first thing that um, you should understand is um, different phalanx units have different lengths of spears. They either have uh, long spears or slightly shorter spears. Um, Effectively, if you're using um, a phalanx that has shorter spears than the enemy, you want to take guard mode off and you always want to attack. You don't want to sit and defend, you want to attack. So in this classic matchup between uh, Carthage Macedon, Macedon has uh, very long spears on the Royal Pikemen. So if you want to take guard mode off, I'm going to be attacking. Um, Pharaoh uh, Guardsmen have very long spears and possibly a few other ones. Uh, Greece has shorter spears. If you're fighting an um, enemy that has shorter spears, you want to have guard mode on and you want to be sitting to defend. So we'll quickly put guard mode phalanx down and we'll start attacking. Okay, the next part of this tutorial is when you use phalanx uh, units, you don't want to be attacking manually with your um, arrow marker too often. Um, you want to be using your phalanx to make the attacks. So what you do here is um, instead of attacking, say for example, a stati, I would be attacking, I'd be clicking behind the unit and then pressing down pikes. I've got the hockey set to A. It might be F on your computer. So we'll actually group these units together just to make it a bit easier. And we'll just speed this up slightly as well. For example, here you've got cavalry coming in. I'm going to run these units to the side. So you want to run them in by pressing behind and then clicking pikes down like that. So if they were to charge directly in, they would do something like this. And you don't want that to happen. Um, you can also press backspace. That brings pikes down. And you can alt attack. And what that does is. Um, that enables you to basically alt attack. Um, but backspace basically halts the troops. And allows you to um, bring all the pikes down. And when you click all attack, that uh, directs all the all the phalanx in one direction. So by pressing um, backspace, all attack, all the units are now facing. All the soldiers are now facing that direction, and they basically killed a lot of cavalry. Again. We charged our troops to the back of the unit. We're going to press Alt Attack to direct all the troops in that section. We're going to do the same again, run the troops behind. Press A. And then Alt Attack. That will just shred the cavalry. When you fight chariot factions, um, always bring um, uh, phalanx because chariots die en masse against uh, phalanx and you can see that whole chariot faction was annihilated. Um, again, we'll use some of the techniques we learned before about charging down pikes at the right time. Look at this example. Um, 
it is uh, Pontus versus Egypt. Um, I have chariot, have phalanx at the front, and they are protected by. Well, they're protecting archers at the back there. And these chariots just have to touch the phalanx and they'll die. Another thing to watch is um, every time that we have chariots come out of Katavian Circle, it makes them very vulnerable to arrows. So, my opponent here is actually Gimli. Um, he's one of my friends uh, in Rome Total War. He's actually got taken his troops out of um, Katavian Circle and it's actually made them vulnerable to the arrows. You can put in like peasants here, push them forward against the chariots, and that will also bring them out of the uh, Katabian circle. But anytime you fight against chariots, you tend to always need um, phalanx yourself to defeat them. Okay, this is uh, the last part of my tutorial with uh, phalanx. Um, if you're fighting chariot based factions, this is a technique. Um, you can use a combination of archers, peasants and phalanx. Uh, in a multiplayer battle, um, this chariot archer unit would usually be in Katabian Circle. So what we do is um, we use peasants. So imagine um, this chariot faction running around. We use peasants to sort of um, push the archers back and as soon as that happens, like there, um, that unit would come out of Katabrian Circle and I would be able to get shots in with the archers. So again, push the peasants forward. And the archers are behind. And everything's in loose formation. So imagine the chariots running around. These guys go forward. And as soon as um, those uh, chariot archers come in range with the peasants, they move back and they will come out of Katabian Circle. Um, I was trying to find a video that I've played, like an online battle to demonstrate this, but I had a hard time finding something. So hopefully this demonstration will give you an understanding of the strategy. So you're just using phas uh, phalanx, peasants and archers. So that's the end of my tutorial. Um, please like, comment and subscribe in the box below. I um, hope you've enjoyed uh, this video and this is uh, COH Piper uh, signing off.